Henry II, also known as Saint Henry, OBL, SB, was Holy Roman Emperor from 1014 until his death in 1024 and the last member of the Ottonian dynasty of emperors as he had no children. The Duke of Bavaria from 995, Henry became King of Germany following the sudden death of his second cousin, Emperor Otto III in 1002 was crowned King of Italy in 1004, and was crowned by the Pope as Emperor in 1014. The son of Henry II, Duke of Bavaria and his wife, Gisela of Burgundy, Emperor Henry II was a great-grandson of German King Henry I and a member of the Bavarian branch of the Ottonian dynasty. Since his father had rebelled against two previous emperors, the younger Henry was often in exile. This led him to turn to the church at an early age, first finding refuge with the Bishop of Freising and later being educated at the Cathedral School of Hildesheim. He succeeded his father as Duke of Bavaria in 995 as Henry IV. As Duke, he attempted to join his second cousin, Holy Roman Emperor Otto III, in suppressing a revolt against imperial rule in Italy in 1002. Before Henry II could arrive, however, Otto III died of fever, leaving no heir. Henry II in 1004 aided Jeremiah, Duke of Bohemia against the Poles, definitively incorporating the Duchy of Bohemia into the Holy Roman Empire. Unlike his predecessor, who had focused upon imperial attention in Italy, Henry spent most of his reign concerned with imperial territory north of the Alps. His main focus was on a series of wars against the Polish Duke Bolsori, who had already conquered a number of countries surrounding him. Henry did, however, lead three expeditions into Italy to ensure imperial dominion over the peninsula, twice to suppress secessionist revolts and once to challenge the Byzantine Empire for dominance over southern Italy. On 14 February 1014, Pope Benedict VIII crowned Henry as Holy Roman Emperor in Rome. The rule of Henry II is seen as a period of centralized authority throughout the empire. He consolidated his power by cultivating personal and political ties with the Catholic Church. He greatly expanded the Ottonian dynasty's custom of employing clergy as counterweights against secular nobles through donations to the church and the establishment of new dioceses. Henry strengthened imperial rule across the empire and increased control over ecclesiastical affairs. He stressed service to the church and promoted monastic reform. For his personal holiness and efforts to support the church, Pope B.L. Eugene III canonized him in 1146, making Henry II the only German monarch to be a saint. Henry II married Cunigunda of Luxembourg, who later became his queen and empress. Conrad was the first of the Salian dynasty of emperors. Early life and marriage Henry was born in May 973, the son of Duke Henry II, Duke of Bavaria, and Gisela of Burgundy. Through his father, he was the grandson of Henry I, Duke of Bavaria, and the great-grandson of King Henry I of Germany. By his mother, he was the grandson of King Conrad I of Burgundy, and the great-grandson of King Rudolf II of Burgundy. The elder Henry came into conflict with his cousin Holy Roman Emperor Otto II in 974. The elder Henry and Otto II disputed each other's claims to authority over the Duchy of Swabia. Henry claimed the duchy as his birthright while Otto II maintained his right to name a duke of his choosing. After an initial failed revolt, Otto II imprisoned the elder Henry in Ingelheim. After escaping, Henry again revolted against Otto II. When this second revolt failed, Otto II deposed Henry as Duke of Bavaria and sent him into exile under the custody of the Bishop of Utrecht in April 978. As a consequence of his revolt, the Emperor stripped the Duchy of Bavaria of its southeastern territories bordering Italy and formed the Duchy of Carinthia. 
During his father's exile, the younger Henry lived in Hildesheim. As a child he was educated by the Bishop of Freising and then studied at the Hildesheim Cathedral. The emperor himself ensured the younger Henry received an ecclesiastical education in order that by becoming a religious official he would be prevented from participating in the imperial government. The death of Otto II in 983 allowed the elder Henry to be released from custody and to return from exile. The elder Henry claimed regency over Otto III, the three-year-old child of Otto II. After a failed attempt to claim the German throne for himself in 985, the elder Henry relinquished the regency to the child's mother Theophanie. In return for his submission to the child king, Henry was restored as Duke of Bavaria. The younger Henry, now 13 years old, was named his regent over Bavaria. When the elder Henry died in 995, the younger Henry was elected by the Bavarian nobles as the new duke to succeed his father as Henry IV. In 999 Henry married Cunigunda of Luxembourg, a daughter of Siegfried, Count of Luxembourg. This marriage granted him an extensive network of contacts in Germany's western territories. Reign as king disputed succession in 1001, Emperor Otto III experienced a revolt against his reign in Italy. The emperor sent word for Henry II to join him with reinforcements from Germany, but then died unexpectedly in January 1002. Otto was only 21 at the time of death and had left no children and no instructions for the imperial succession. In the Ottonian dynasty, succession to the throne had belonged to the Saxon branch, not the Bavarian line of which Henry was a member. Rival candidates for the throne, including Etzo of Lotharingia, Margrave Eckhard I of Meissen, and Duke Hermann II of Swabia, strongly contested Henry's right to succeed Otto III. As the funeral procession moved through the Duchy of Bavaria in February 1002, Henry met the procession in Poling, just north of the Alps. To legitimize his claims, Henry demanded Archbishop Hiri Bear of Cologne give him the imperial regalia, chief among them being the Holy Lance. Hiri Bear, however, had sent these ahead of the procession. Possibility out of distrust of Henry and possibly because he favored the succession of his relative Duke Hermann II of Swabia as the next king. In order to force Hermann II to relinquish the Holy Lance to him, Henry imprisoned the Archbishop and his brother the Bishop of Würzburg. With neither the symbols of imperial authority, the crown jewels, nor the cooperation of Hiri Beto, Henry was unable to convince the nobles attending Otto III's funeral procession to elect him as king. A few weeks later, at Otto III's funeral in Aachen Cathedral, Henry again attempted to gain the support of the kingdom's nobles and was again rejected. So it was without the support of the kingdom's nobility that Henry took the radical action of having himself anointed and crowned king of Germany by Willigus. Archbishop of Mainz on 9 July 1002 at Mainz, in present-day Germany. Henry's action marked the first time a German king was not crowned in Aachen Cathedral since Emperor Otto I began the tradition in 936 and the first time a German king assumed the throne without election by the German nobility. Under the regal name of King Henry II, he appeared before the Saxons in mid-July in full regal apparel. There, Henry convinced Bernard I, Duke of Saxony, to support his claims to the throne. In return for his support, Henry guaranteed Bernard's right to rule the Saxons and to represent their interests before him. Shortly after gaining the support of the Saxons, Henry arranged for Archbishop Willigus to crown his wife. Cunigunda of Luxembourg as Queen of Germany on 10 August 1002 in Paderborn, in present-day Germany. Consolidation of power Henry II spent the next several years consolidating his political power within his borders. Hermann II, Duke of Swabia, in particular fiercely contested Henry II's right to the throne. 
The Swabian duke believed he was Otto III's true successor, as he had married a daughter of Ludolf, eldest son of Emperor Otto I. Armed conflicts between Henry II and Hermann II broke out but proved to be inconclusive. This forced the two men to fight each other politically for the support of the Swabian nobles. Unable to decisively defeat Hermann in Swabia, Henry II attempted to legitimize his seizing the throne by traveling throughout the various duchies of his kingdom, Saxony, Bavaria, Swabia, Upper Lorraine, Lower Lorraine, Franconia. This was done in order to obtain the general consent of his subjects as opposed to traditional election. Henry II's familial ties to the Ottonian dynasty eventually caused the kingdom's nobles to accept him as king. After being defeated at a battle near Strasbourg, Hermann II submitted to Henry II's authority on October 1, 1002. In exchange for this surrender, Henry II allowed Hermann II to remain Duke of Swabia until his death the following year, after which, although recognizing the minor Hermann III as his father's titular successor, Henry II effectively assumed all power over the duchy himself. In 1003, Margrave of Nordgau Henry of Schweinfurt in Bavaria revolted against Henry II's rule. Henry II had promised to install the Margrave as his successor to the Duchy of Bavaria in exchange for supporting his claim to the German crown. Upon assuming the throne, however, Henry II refused to honor his promise and instead supported the rights of the Bavarians to elect their own duke. With Henry II's support, Count Henry I of Luxembourg became the Duke of Bavaria as Henry V. Betrayed by the king, Marguerite Henry allied with Duke Bolsori of Poland against him. However, his rebellion was soon quashed and the Nordgaian Margaret was deposed in 1004. Henry II then abolished the March of Nordgau, established the Diocese of Bamberg in 1007, and transferred secular authority over the March's former territory to the diocese in order to prevent further uprisings. First Italian expedition the death of Otto III in 1002 and the resulting political turmoil over his successor allowed Italy to fall from German control. Margrave Arduin of Ivre proclaimed himself King of Italy at Pavia soon after the Emperor's death. Accompanied by Archbishop Arnulf II of Milan, Arduin won the support of the Italian territorial magnates. Arduin, however, had been excommunicated in 997 for the murder of the Bishop of Vercelli. This allowed Arduin's enemies in the church, led by Archbishop Frederick of Ravenna, to side with the German King Henry II as the rightful ruler of Italy. Henry II sent Duke Otto I of Carinthia over the March of Verona to face Arduin, successfully defeating him at the Battle of Fabrica in 1003. In 1004 Henry II responded to calls for aid from Italian bishops and led an invasion into Italy against Arduin. Henry II gathered his troops at Augsburg and marched through the Brenner Pass to Trento, Italy. After initial military successes, much of the Italian clergy and some noble families swore allegiance to Henry II, including Archbishop Arnulf II. Joining Henry II in Bergamo, Arnulf II crowned him as King of Italy on May 14, 1004 in Pavia. Unlike his predecessors, after gaining the Kingdom of Italy Henry II wore two crowns, one for Germany and one for Italy, instead of a common crown representing both realms. The following night, the inhabitants of Pavia revolted against Henry's rule. Henry ordered his troops to massacre the population in response. After receiving the homage of the remaining Italian nobles, Henry returned to Germany in the early summer of 1004 without first traveling to Rome to claim the imperial crown. This is most likely due to opposition from Pope John XVIII. Henry would not return to Italy for a decade, leaving the kingdom to govern itself. Henry returned to Germany to take military action against the rebellious Duke Bolslaw I of Poland. Conflict with Poland 
Polish relations The untimely death of Emperor Otto III at age 21 in 1002 upset the young emperor's ambitious renovation plans, which were never fully implemented. Henry II, opposed to Otto III's eastern policies, reversed imperial policy towards the east, resulting in the deterioration of the excellent relations Germany and Poland had enjoyed during Otto III's reign particularly its relationship with Duke Bolslaurai of Poland. Bolslaurai had been a loyal supporter of Otto III, but Henry II's actions caused Bolslaurai to seek new German allies. Of the major candidates seeking to succeed to the German throne, Bolslaurai supported Margrave Eckhard I of Meissen over Henry. Only after Eckhard was assassinated by Saxon nobles in April 1002 did Bolslaurai lend his support to Henry II. Bolslaurai traveled to Merseburg on July 25, 1002 and paid homage to the new German king. Bolslaurai had taken advantage of Germany's internal strife following Otto III's death occupying important German territories west of the Oder River, the March of Meissen and the March of Lysartia. Bolslaurai took control of these territories following the assassination of Margrave Eckhard I. Henry II accepted Bolslaurai's gains, allowing the Polish Duke to keep Lysartia as a fief, with Bolslaurai recognizing Henry II as his overlord. Henry II refused to allow Bolslaurai to keep possession of Meissen, however, shortly after Bolslaurai's departure from Merseburg, an assassination attempt was made against him. Though the attempt failed, Bolslaurai was seriously injured. The Polish Duke accused Henry II of instituting the attack, and relations between the two countries were severed. Bolslaurai also refused to pay tribute to Germany. Prior to open rebellion in 1004, Bolslaurs III, Duke of Bohemia, was ousted in a revolt in 1002. Bolslaurai intervened in the Bohemian affair and reinstalled Bolslaurs III upon the Bohemian throne in 1003. Bolslaurs III soon undermined his own position, however, by ordering a massacre of his leading nobles. Bohemian nobles secretly sent a messenger to Bolslaurai, requesting his direct intervention in the crisis. The Polish Duke willingly agreed and invited the Bohemian Duke to Poland. There, Bolslaus III was captured, blinded, and imprisoned, where he would remain until his death some 30 years later. Claiming dominion over Bohemia for himself, Bolslaurai invaded Bohemia in 1003 and conquered the duchy without any serious opposition. Bohemia had previously been under the influence and protection of Germany. With the Polish invasion further increasing tension between Germany and Poland, Bolslaurai openly rebelled against Henry II's rule in 1004, burning down the castle in Meissen in an act of war. Returning from Italy after reclaiming the Italian throne, Henry II launched a military campaign against Poland in 1004 that would last until 1018, spanning three wars and several smaller campaigns. First Polish war returning from his first expedition to Italy, Henry II gathered an army to march against Poland. The previous year in 1003, Henry II had formed an alliance with the pagan Slavic Lutusi tribe. As a consequence of their military alliance, Henry II halted Christianization efforts among the Slavic peoples. The new alliance with the Western Slavs against Poland was controversial, however, many German nobles had hoped for continued missionary work and the direct submission of the Elbe Slavs. In addition, many German nobles opposed the war because they had developed family ties with Poland during Otto III's reign. Similarly, members of the clergy, including Bishop Bruno of Quifort, saw future tithe payments and Polish support for missionary work in Prussia evaporating due to the war. In preparation for Henry II's coming military invasion, Bolslaurai developed a similar alliance with other Slavic peoples. With his conquest west of the Oder River in 1002, his domain stretched from the Baltic Sea to the Carpathian Mountains. 
Furthermore, the Polish duke was connected by kinship to numerous princes of Scandinavia. Henry II answered Bolsori's rebellion with a military invasion in the summer of 1004, reaching the Ore Mountains in northern Bohemia. He then conquered the castle at Zatek and killed the Polish army left there. Simultaneous to Henry II's invasion, Jaromir invaded Bohemia with German military support. At Merzburg, Jaromir promised to hold Bohemia as a vassal under Henry II, definitively incorporating Bohemia into the Holy Roman Empire. Forcing Bols Lorai to flee, Jaromir occupied Prague with a German army and proclaimed himself Duke. The state he regained was a small one, however, as Polish forces would hold Moravia, Silesia, and Lysatia until 1018. During the next part of the offensive, Henry II retook Meissenum in summer 1005. His army advanced deep into Poland, suffering significant losses along the way. At the Polish city of Poznan, the German forces were ambushed by the Polish army and suffered significant losses. Meeting in Poznan, Henry II and Bolslori signed a peace treaty. According to its terms, Bolslori lost Lysatia and Meissen and was forced to give up his claim to the Bohemian throne. The peace lasted only two years as neither party recognized the claims of the other. Second Polish War in 1007, Henry II denounced the peace of Poznan resulting in Bolslori's attack on the Archbishopric of Magdeburg as well as his reoccupation of marches of Lysatia and Meissen including the city of Bautzen. The German counteroffensive began three years later in 1010. It was of no significant consequence, beyond some pillaging in Silesia. In 1012, a second peace treaty between Germany and Poland was signed. Bolslori quickly broke the peace, however, and once again invaded Lysatia. Bolslori's forces pillaged and burned the city of Lubus. In 1013, a third peace treaty was signed at Merzburg, requiring in part that Bolslori recognize Henry II as his overlord in exchange for receiving the March of Lysatia and the March of Meissen as fiefs. To seal their peace, Bolslori's son Misko II married Richeza of Lotharingia, daughter of the Count Palatinetso of Lotharingia, granddaughter of Emperor Otto II.